So, Doug, you've had, you've had a, you being Sequoia as well as you personally have had a great, well, you've always had great funds, but you've had a particularly great couple of years. You made the $400 million on this one company. Uh, you've had a dozen IPOs in the last couple of years, 60 billion in market cap. I don't know how much of that you guys took off the table, but it was obviously billions. Uh, more acquisitions than we can count. I mean, you guys are making a, a, just a shit ton of money, that's clear. And as a, an investor in your fund, I'm very happy with that. You're an investor in our fund, and it's a great business relationship. But what are you doing to protect the world from the NSA and everything the government's trying to do to destroy us as a country? So I, I, I read your blog, and to be perfectly frank, I'm not as far left as you are, but I'm not a, a right-wing guy either. I'm very upset by what's been going on with the NSA. Clearly, the, the delicate balance between freedom uh, and safety uh, has been crossed. When you have one branch of government doing everything by itself, as opposed to two or three branches in the systems of checks and balances, I think that's a big, big problem. Yeah. So, uh, look, I think it's upon guys like us to make sure we keep the issue at the line, in the limelight. It's guys like you who are particularly good with a microphone in your hand just to make sure it's always at the forefront of the conversation. I think we should get our local politicians involved. I think we should donate money where, where it makes sense for the simple reason we need to keep talking about this and we need to bring the issue uh, in balance again because okay. I think it's out of balance. So you'd say you're pro-totalitarian state then? Based on that. That's not what I said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sanjay, what are your feelings on this? Do you have a more reasonable opinion or? <laughs> more reasonable? You know, I, I think uh, it's definitely disturbing, uh, kind of on all fronts. When it's Doug's opinion? Doug's opinion is completely disturbing. It's disturbing. Uh, but no, when you read the news and every week there's something new, that's, that's not a good feeling. Um, yeah. But I think it's good that it's coming to the foreground. It's new technology, right? It takes a while for laws to be written and, and yeah. kind of this bill of rights that needs to be written to happen. But I think now is the time to actually put that conversation together. All right.